So now that we have all the controls, uh, it's basically time to take it out for a test drive. There's one last thing we have to figure out first, which is mounting this fuel pressure regulator. And to do that, I'm gonna just make a skid plate for that section and mount it to that. For the first test drive, we'll just strap Cindy's gas tank on the back probably. And, uh, you know, drive it around very mildly. We don't wanna break anything that's not fully welded yet. And a lot of you guys have heard about the new giveaway to win the Rogue Fab Bender. You just have to go on our merch store, buy something. Every $5 gets you an entry. We have cool new shirts. We already sold out of hats. So check that out. The link's in the description. But first, let's get this thing driving. Oh, just digging through the uh, piranha punch out bin here to get a bunch of little tabs. I'm gonna use these uh, essentially as nuts um, to bolt on the skid plate, partly because we don't have a lot of small nuts, uh, but mostly because these are larger in diameter, so I can just drill and tap the center and then weld them onto the frame wherever I need uh, support for the skid plate. I got a whole bunch more stuff welded on the bottom here. Got the skid plate all bolted on. We're gonna top up the uh, differential, the front differential, um, while we have it up on end like this. And then uh, strap a gas tank to it and drive it. You? <laughs> Doesn't seem real, it's been so long. I know, it's the longest we've waited to rip something. what build day this is. It must be like 58 or something, nearly 60. But I am sure that today is first test drive day. It's ready to go. I've got Sandy's fuel tank on here. I welded a bung on the top of the gas cap so we can have the return line go to it. Um, so, you know, that'll be enough gas for a couple minutes. Ooh, exciting times. happy for a while there in the dead of winter in that freezing cold garage. Never really seemed like this was gonna happen, <laughs> but it's happening. Yes. It sounds like a monster truck. <laughs> it absolutely does sound like a monster truck. It's and it amazing. looks like one too, because the four wheel drifts. <laughs> yeah. Oh man. That was the best. I am so happy right now. <laughs> oh, you have no idea how happy I am. <laughs> oh. uh, 
this steering arm got a little bent, the one I didn't reinforce. So that's, uh, you know, it's good that that's the only thing that's messed up. So the other side I massively reinforced this one because it isn't doing as much. I didn't reinforce it yet. I figured I'd just wait till we take it apart to weld it, but it kind of twisted. So the steering's a little bit towed in right now, but uh, yeah, that's amazing. <laughs> and of course that donut was like 5% throttle. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the best thing we've ever built. We gotta find something mild but steep. Ooh, I'll drive up the back side of the sand pit. We gotta test the four wheel drive. RPM range. It's got kind of a hesitation when you open the throttle more than like 5%, and I'm sure we can tune that out. That's just, it's not tuned at all. Obviously, the tires are towed in like ridiculously right now because of this bent control arm. So um, that made it very sketchy when it started catching throttle, but it's got some ponies. <laughs> It'll look like it. I mean, it probably weighs almost as much as the Odyssey with everything that's in it, and it just moves. It's got so much torque too. I mean, you saw how little RPM I needed to go up everything. It just like, yeah, it's, it's perfect. And it feels so stable. Like those donuts out there feels way more stable than doing them on the ATV. Cause it's so much lower to the ground. Yesterday we test drove this thing. It was amazing. It was awesome. We only broke a few things, you know, as usual. Um, this steering arm here got a little bit bent. And in the process, the tie rod also got a little bit bent. Not very surprising because we drove it without everything being welded. Um, other than that though, everything survived. Everything looked fine. It felt great, sounded great, looked great. We just had shirts, pieces of t-shirt for our air filters because that's what we had. Uh, because this box just came today. If this had come yesterday, we could have had it on there. So. Doesn't compare with the excitement of driving this yesterday, but this is nevertheless an exciting box of stuff from Rottweiler Performance. What a great name. Ooh. That looks like an air filter. That thing looks nice. So this is their uh, 990, 990 Adventure Airbox Delete kit or intake system, whatever they call it. Anyway, it's uh, much lighter and more compact than the original air box. As you may have noticed, it was a box like that big. It also uh, gains a claimed 10 to 15 horsepower over stock. So that's super good. Also, it has a mounting point for the air intake temp sensor, which we don't currently have a spot for, and the um, PCV, the crankcase vent. So. Perfect. Got the uh, Rottweiler intake system all hooked up and looking sexy. Time to hear what it sounds like. So it's time for this thing to get a reverse shifter. Um, right now I have this shift lever, which is actually from the ATV that we stole the differentials from. And then I have this cable 
hooked up to the shifter arm on the uh, chain case here and it was obviously way way too long so I trimmed it down and then this is a banjo bolt for brake lines since it's already drilled out in the, this part I just drilled out the back side a little bigger so it slides over the cable and then it slides over the housing right there. I can crimp it on using this uh, cable crimp tool in theory. Let's see how that feels. Oh yeah, perfect. Boom. Cable still slides easy in it. So the cable will go through here. I'll just drill a hole in this plate close to one of its mount points and uh, slide that through. somewhat working reverse shifter. Um, I'm using a, this cable here and I have this end attached there. The other end I've got the little tab here for it and then I've got my pivot and shifter arm. Right now it's free floating and the reason it's on a heim joint instead of just a regular straight pivot is so that I can have a slot where it slides straight back and then over to the side so it can lock into reverse. Plan is to make the slot in this plate of aluminum here. So we now have a fully functional and extremely simple reverse shifter. Look at that. A little notch retains it in reverse. And then to put it back into forward, you just let it go. Boom. So now I just have to make an, uh, a way to mount this on there. And then we'll have a piston shift knob that'll look super awesome. got the uh, shift knob adapter setup made. I made a little aluminum wrist pin that even has a hole through it. Reverse, forward, reverse, forward. So cool. So the front end's all bent out of shape there because you know we're idiots and drive things before they're welded. But we have to do a running reverse test. So uh, we'll just back out of the shop and then drive back into the shop. And then you know, next time we'll actually go test it out properly. Do some reverse donuts, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna That'd be, be wild. Yeah. yeah. Well, the crazy thing is it doesn't matter what gear you're in, you can always go into reverse. You can go into reverse in sixth gear. reverse what a game changer yes <laughs> should, should be a pretty basic thing but I was just thinking about it and I realized this is the first thing we've built since we built the ute that can back out of the shop so we're still doing our giveaway of the rogue fab bender so if you go to our site and 
check out the merch we have there. Every $5 you spend will get you an entry to win the Rogue Fab Bender, which is an awesome tool. If you haven't, go to their site, check it out. Now that we've got functional reverse, um, first step obviously is to fix that bent steering stuff. So we'll fix that and then um, build a gas tank and then strip it down to the frame, weld it, paint it, and then properly send it. Yeah, <laughs> we're so close. It's gonna be so much fun. This will also be the first thing that we've painted before properly sending it. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 